it's harm none. So today we're obviously back in Grand Theft Auto Online to film Out the Mud Episode 7. As you guys can see, we are inside of the nightclub office right now and my popularity is down a little bit. So before I even collect the money out of the safe, I'm going to do a nightclub popularity mission, except I actually can't because the computer is unavailable because there's too many CEOs or VIPs. All right, boys. So I hopped into a uh, invite only session because I couldn't find a public session that actually had like a decent player count. So we're going to be in an invite only session for the uh, for the start of this episode at least. We're probably going to transfer a little bit later into an actual session. As you guys can hear, my voice is still like just ever so slightly not quite right, but it's uh well, it could be worse obviously, but um definitely still not super ideal, so we're hoping that uh by tomorrow the voice will be back to normal, hopefully at least. So we are going to launch a popularity mission here real quick because the uh, the nightclub's only making us uh, 36 grand, which is not very great. Of course, it's the smash up the developer's vehicles mission. I absolutely cannot stand this one. That's pretty typical, though. Of course, it would give me the mission that I really do not want to do. <sighs> okay, well, we're going to take the buzzard because it's just going to be a little bit quicker than the night shark, so... We will just uh, get right to it. We're going to start off with the, with the vehicle over here on the left. I just wanted to say I, uh, I do apologize for this out the mud taking so long to film. This is a series that I really do enjoy doing and um, I just did not want to release any episodes, especially with my voice being like really, really bad and intolerable because that's just, that's just not the type of content that I want to make. Now it like, you know, obviously I still made videos. So I just didn't really want to make the Out the Mud series have an episode that was just clearly where I wasn't uh, performing as well as the other episodes. I'm uh, I'm really enjoying the series. You guys are really enjoying the series as well. Um, I've got a lot of positive feedback. I think it's probably, I mean, it's the best series I've ever done on the channel um, in terms of success for sure. And also in terms of enjoyment. I haven't done many series on the channel. Um, occasionally I would try to do something new. Like I, I did a little bit of an uh, Ark Survival Evolved playthrough. We only got uh, we only got through two episodes though because that series was, um, it, it's plagued by the people that play Ark Survival Evolved, which are... It is what it is. The game's a PvP game and everything. Um, but uh, we got thrashed pretty hard by guys that had way better stuff than we did. And um, so the series only lasted for like two episodes. But it's it was still really fun. Really, really enjoyable to make that series as well. But um, I also had a lot less subscribers. So the series didn't exactly uh, take off very well, shall we say, I guess. And then I've also done another series uh, called Harm Nuns Farm. And that was on, uh, on Farming Simulator. I never finished that series. Um, we're still waiting on episode 10, which is the episode that I was supposed to go and like buy every single farm on the entire map. Uh, you never know. Episode 10 could come out in the future, but I, I don't know. It's probably not very likely. If you guys are ever bored though, I do have playlists uh, that have both of those series in them. So if you ever have, uh, have nothing to do and you're looking to watch um, a part of a series, then those are, uh, those are two that you can watch on my channel. So. There you go. I uh, I bet that probably 95% of you guys probably didn't even know that I did those series. So it has been a while since I uh, since I did them as well, though. So it's it's not exactly like many of you guys were around when I was making those series, anyways. Boom! I absolutely smoked that guy. Damn! Oh my goodness! Oh, oops. Sorry, sir. Oh, luckily though, I am uh, I am feeling a lot better. So that is nice. I always forget how like terrible being sick is until I actually like get sick and then it it just all comes rushing back to you and you realize like oh my god I never want to be sick ever again in my life so I am very thankful to be in semi decent health again because yeah that that was uh that was not a very fun week there and as a result of me basically making like car customizations and content that I really didn't necessarily want to make the uh the channel's views have dropped off pretty significantly where um we're down we're down to about 30,000 a day which still I will not complain about but we were getting in the 40 to 45,000 like average range for a while there so we are down a little bit which is uh, is a little bit unfortunate but it is what it is we'll uh, we'll bounce back um, I'm really looking forward to whenever the next GTA update comes out I think that's going to be a really uh, a really good time 
I feel, I feel like the next GTA update should probably be coming out in, I want to say like June or maybe July. I don't think that they're going to stretch it to August this year. I, I really don't. I think it's going to be a June or July sort of update. So that will be, uh, that will definitely be something to look forward to. I cannot wait for the next GTA update to come out. Of course, we have no idea what is actually going to be included in that next update. Uh, despite certain YouTubers making like 20 videos a week talking about what the next update is going to be, uh, we actually don't know anything about it yet. So I, uh, I am keeping my ears peeled though. Um, obviously I don't really think that we're going to get any information about it, to be honest. Um, not for not for another probably probably another month maybe two months um i would think by the end of may we will probably know something about the dlc uh but you never know i mean i, I could be wrong for sure so we'll definitely hope that we know something by by the end of may though all right guys so that is it for the popularity mission now we have well okay so we collected the money out of the wall safe our popularity is maxed out in the top right, as you guys can see, we've almost got $2 million, um, so that is pretty good. Now, we do have some stuff that we could sell, uh, which will obviously require a public session, so we're going to have to hop into a public session. I have the basement of the nightclub uh, ready to go. Um, I mean, it, it could fill up more, don't get me wrong, but I think that uh, about 185 grand, 200 grand sort of thing, I think that's a pretty decent amount of money. Um, to do a cell mission so we are maxed out on cargo and we're almost maxed out on guns as well so I think that we're probably gonna look at, uh, at doing a cell mission here and then I'm sure that my bunker is also probably ready to sell now my nightclub also could use another upgrade as well we have the security upgrade discounted this week which is actually that's not a bad discount um, and then on top of that we also have the equipment upgrade that we need um, and that will improve the uh, the productivity and how quickly our nightclub uh, warehouse actually fills up so that's something that i'm thinking about but i also am kind of interested to do something with the mc businesses this week i'm not really interested in running the mc businesses to be honest because most of the time i am playing solo um occasionally i do play with max and nick as you guys know but unless i'm playing with them selling the mc businesses is pretty hellish and even if i am playing with them selling the mc businesses is well pretty hellish Obviously, you do get three uh, delivery vehicles with the MC stuff, so that is really annoying. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll have to see about the MC stuff because I want to buy them because at the very least, my nightclub warehouse can make money from them. And on the expanded and enhanced edition, the money that you make from them within the nightclub warehouse and from the businesses themselves is increased by I think it's 25% across the board making 25% more money from from the actual businesses then you're making 25% more money from the nightclub warehouse when you're doing MC stuff in the warehouse it's kind of good man it's kind of good I'm not gonna lie so I think we're actually gonna head into a public session and we're probably gonna do a sell mission of my nightclub goods so we'll hop into that okay well the first session i got into here only has uh 12 players so i think we're probably going to just do this mission in this session because i mean 12 people i'm one of them so there's only 11 people that could really uh that could really be kind of griefing in here so we do have some really high level guys in this session usually the high level guys are a little bit more reserved um so We'll, we'll just hope that these guys are, are those type of people. Now, another thing uh, this week, well, until Thursday, that is, um, MC businesses are giving out an extra 50% bonuses on sale missions. So if you count the expanded and enhanced edition um, bonus as well, it's actually a 75% bonus on sale missions, which, not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Um, we are gonna sell the nightclub warehouse here. Let's, uh, let's hope this goes well. Let's hope there's only one drop off. I guess we'll see. I do see an oppressor mark one. Um, so that's great. Hopefully he doesn't decide to just, you know, be that guy. But uh, I, I guess we'll see. It would sort of appear that uh, we have made it. It would appear that way. Okay, good, very good. Tony took uh, took 18,500 from us. Okay, well, that's that's respectable, I guess. There's another 75k waiting in the safe now. So I guess we'll go and collect that 75k from the safe. 
and then we will head on over to the bunker and do our bunker sale mission. Okay, and we are of course at the drop off. Let's go. Easy. That was a that was a good sale mission. Cheers to that. Okay, weapon shipment delivered 245 grand. That is very nice. So that means we have how much money do we have now? Um 2.3 million? 2.3 something? Oh, almost 2.4. Okay, nice. Oh, 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 the homie on the bike just completely suicided himself. Ah, uh, that's, you hate to see it. That's tough. Ah, uh, rest in peace, my guy. So we are on the open road. Let's go. Um, now the Coke lockup at the Alamo Sea is already 975 grand. So I can only imagine they get uh, a lot more expensive from, from, from there on. Oh my goodness. The Elysian Island. Oh boy. Oh, these are a little, a little expensive. Uh, that's in Polito Bay. We do not want the Polito Bay one. Um, where can I see this on the map yet? Let's see. Oh, that is down at the docks. We do not want this at the docks. I, uh, I really do not want that at the docks. Um, now what about, what about this one? Okay, this is a little more like it. That's right beside my CEO office. I literally have never... <coughs> even seen this business before i don't think so i think that we probably we probably want to get the one in the city um i think it's going to make doing the cell missions a little bit easier because we're going to be going out to blaine county rather than coming into the city um so i think we're going to buy this business for almost two million dollars ah, yikes oh that hurt um we're gonna make our money back though uh, it, it definitely could be worse. So, okay, so we've got that one. Um, now we've got to buy the rest of these businesses, but we'll, we'll get to that, you know, when, uh, when the time comes. That is fine. Um, I guess we should head over to our new business and, uh, and actually get that set up. I'm also thinking about changing the location of the MC Clubhouse. It doesn't really matter because I'm not really going to come here very often or use this very often, but it would be kind of nice to have it in the city somewhere. Um, so it's that's something to think about for sure. I am uh, I am going to call my mechanic right now and get him to bring my uh, my Hakuchu drag over here um, because I am going to store it within the uh, within the MC clubhouse. I think it's a I think it's kind of a smart move. Okay, now we are going to head back to the city and uh, go to our, uh, our newly acquired um, sugar factory, if you will. Now, depending on how much money upgrades are for the, uh, for the business, what we might do instead is actually hire another technician in the nightclub and get him to start sourcing South American imports. Um, so we, we might also do that. I, uh, I'm trying to make as much money as I can this week um, before Thursday with uh, this this double money week that we have or this event week that that we have I will say instead because there are some pretty good bonuses going like the uh, I mean the nightclub the nightclub warehouse producing stuff I think 50% faster or twice as fast that is pretty damn good I mean you can make some serious money with that and obviously with the MC businesses having the uh, the extra 50% bonus on the uh, on the sell sell price is it's pretty nice too man i'm not going to lie okay so this business is where oh it's right here oh interesting interesting okay so it's in here where do the where do the vehicles spawn the sell vehicles i guess they all spawn in here where my bike is um interesting all right, well, let's hop inside here. I'm sure we're gonna have a, uh, a cutscene to go through, so we'll uh, we'll see about that. Okay, so we gotta set up the business uh, initially here, of course. Okay, so we're gonna log in and we're gonna run the uh, the setup mission here. Hopefully, this isn't uh, this isn't too awful. I guess we'll see though. Well, the setup mission is pretty close, so that's that's good. I don't know how many different setup missions there are, but this one is pretty damn close. So I will uh, I will definitely take it. Oh, we got the uh, the Tampa here. Okay. Man, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what is with this session, but literally like, nobody has been killing each other. This is like a, such a peaceful session and it's actually pretty full too. So like kind of confused, but I'm not going to complain. That's for sure. I will definitely take a peaceful large session. That is uh, That is something that we do like to see. And the business supplies have been dropped off. Let's go. 
Okay, so we have full supplies on the business now. Let's uh let's take a look on the laptop and just see how much these uh these upgrades cost. So okay, the equipment upgrade is not actually as bad as I thought. It's only uh, it's only nine hundred and thirty five thousand dollars, which is actually pretty good all things considered. We can of course afford a staff upgrade as well. Um, so that is pretty good. Um, so I think that I'm actually gonna buy the staff upgrade right off the bat here, because I mean it's a hundred or it's three hundred ninety thousand, which I I mean I can afford it, and we've still got a hundred and thirty four thousand left over. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, well we're gonna try to let this uh, start progressing, I guess, and then we are actually gonna go ahead and register as a CEO and uh, head on over to the agency. <coughs> And uh, we're we're gonna go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? We have a payphone hit right now, so we are we are gonna do that. Um, there does appear to be a guy in a jet now uh, who's griefing the whole session, so that's super nice. We obviously love to see that. He's coming for me now, and of course he's gonna get me like a pussy, absolute rat. We're just gonna try to activate the payphone hit so that this guy can't do anything to us. Um, so we'll just go ahead and grab this. Okay, payphone hit the tech entrepreneur. Epic. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hop into the buzzard here, except maybe we won't because there's a guy with the oppressor right like, behind us. Okay, we have to pick up the target in a taxi and drive them into the car crusher at the scrapyard. Interesting. Oh, and the oppressor guy just activated ghost org. So I would assume that he's he's probably gonna smoke me realistically. I'm uh, I'm waiting for it. Of course, if you're uh, if you didn't know this, I have no game audio um, for this series, so um, I uh, I really cannot uh, cannot tell if somebody's locking onto me or not. Okay, well okay, well I guess I guess they're they're fighting. Oh, uh, it looks like I have to probably head over to where the uh, the downtown cab company keeps. Yep, there. Okay. Mint. Awesome. Love that. Super great. That's really good. I, I, I just, I hate, I hate being productive. I, I hate it. I hate it. Honestly, like being a low life, the life for me. I, I, what I like to do in GTA is ruin other people's days, waste their time, uh, blow them up for no, for no good reason. Um, yeah, all, I mean, pretty much all that stuff. That's, uh, that's what I like to do in my day. Wow, these guys really just had to have their all-out war, like, right beside where I'm, uh, where I'm trying to pick up my target. Okay, uh, don't mind me, guys. I'm just, I'm just a guy driving a taxi. I'm actually a taxi driver. Don't even bother shooting. It's fine. Time to pick up the homie. I wonder if this guy has ever seen somebody, um, in a, uh, in a pink Gorka suit with a, uh, with a gas mask on as a, uh, as a taxi driver. I wonder. I wonder if he's ever seen that before. I haven't, personally. I wouldn't question it. There's no way I would question it. And we have to drive into the car crusher. Now this is, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know what kind of sick person would want somebody to be killed in this sort of a way. Um, I, I don't know what's wrong with just shooting them, but, um, <laughs> I guess I've never hired a uh, some somebody to kill somebody before. Uh, we'll just park the car here. Yeah, don't mind me. Is it gonna show this happening? No, it's not. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Yep, I'll take it, man. I will take it. Payphone hits are just so easy. I I just love them. Honestly, it is not hard to make money in GTA Online. Like it's it's a tiny bit tedious and this and that. And I know. And, you know, I, I know that I do YouTube, so, you know, I'm actually getting paid real money to do this, so it's not so bad, maybe, for me. Honestly, it's really not hard to make money in this game, and it's really not that bad, honestly. Like, it's 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 not bad at all. Um, we are going to do the, the vehicle recovery contract, um, so go ahead and launch this. This is going to pay us, like, 58 grand, so that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But, I yeah, I really don't understand people who, like, complain about making money in gta like yeah it's not it's not as fast as you'd like or whatever and i know there's a lot of stuff that um people want to get obviously and you don't earn money at a quick enough pace to actually just you know be able to buy everything that you want to get but honestly if you were just able to just buy all the cars that you want and everything like that it would make the game not fun like the game would not be fun i i, I promise it would not be fun um so Honestly, like a, a big part of the game and a big part, a big part of everything in life, not even just GTA is, is the grind. Nobody wants to do the grind, but if you didn't have the grind and you all of a sudden just got everything that you wanted, it would be like a little bit disappointing because the whole point in getting all the stuff that you want is to 
relay it back to the point where you didn't have everything that you wanted. That goes for real life and that goes for GTA 2. It goes for everything. Like the grind that you have to do in order to get something is the part that's fun, believe it or not. It may not feel like it. Obviously, not everybody wants to go to work. I don't want to go to work, you know, this, that, and the next thing, right? But in another few years, you know, you know, doing everything that I ever wanted to do in my life, like it'll it'll definitely be a surreal feeling and it will uh it'll definitely like pay off i guess and uh the, the feeling i think that you get when you finally do get what you've been what you've been grinding for what you've been working for i think that is really just a like a beautiful thing so i, I don't know this this has kind of gone on for too long um this whole speech here but um i think it's i i really do think it's the truth like i don't know it's uh it's definitely important to uh just appreciate the grind Okay, so we're- oh, we're stealing a Jester. Jester RR, this thing is pretty sick. You collected the Ignis, did I? You know what? I don't think that this is an Ignis. I- now, I could be wrong. I really feel like this is not an Ignis. Uh, oh, okay, hello. Hello, hello, fella. Okay, mint. Love when the AI just all spawn in, like, right around you. It's perfect. Mint. All right, let's bring the, uh, the Ignis, uh, back to, uh, back to the agency here real quick. This thing is sick, man. It handles so nicely. I just drove this thing the other day on the PC and it felt a lot slower. That's really weird, actually. Jester RR, though, is actually a very nice car. I'm not gonna lie. All right, and we are almost at the agency here. And there we go. Vehicle recovered, boys. Let's go. So we have made $141,000 from the agency here. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Okay, we're up to 269,000. So that is nice. Uh, we're gonna head down to the ground now and um, I'm gonna call the buzzard and I think we're gonna head over to the nightclub and we will uh, we will buy this uh, this next staff member here. This will uh, this will be pretty good. Start making even more money now. We're gonna have too many businesses and just not enough time to run all of them. Jeez, this is, this is getting crazy here. Okay. Something that we're probably gonna have to look at too, uh, eventually here, once, probably once we get the, uh, the coke lock up upgraded and everything, is maybe upgrading the nightclub itself. Um, getting the equipment upgrade and then also getting the, the basement levels upgrades. Um, because there's a lot of basement levels that we don't have yet. We've only got, uh, we've only got the first one. Um, so that's, uh, that's something we're gonna have to look into. Cause we, obviously, I mean, we want to have more than just the one basement level. So that we can, you know, hold more things. Uh, so let's hop out of the buzzard here. All right, let's head inside here. We're gonna go down to basement level one right off the bat. Okay, this thing's already got ten grand sitting in it, and we just sold this not that long ago. So that's that's good. Uh, nightclub man or warehouse management. That's what we want. We want to hire another technician for another hundred and eighty-four grand, and we're gonna get him to start sourcing South American imports. So there we go. So that means the. Um, South American imports, we can only hold two of those, but I think that they are worth quite a lot of money. I think that they're worth like 20k a piece, I want to say, something like that. We definitely, uh, we definitely are going to want to want to get more basement levels here though in the, uh, in the near future, obviously. Okay, so we've got 85 grand left. I guess we will head outside, um, head back to the agency do another security contract and then we'll probably go check on the uh, on the lockup and then I think that's probably pretty much it for this episode I think uh, I, I don't know there's not a whole lot else we can really do obviously given our uh, current financial status which is well not, we, we don't have much money yeah there's there's not a lot that we can uh, that we can really do now I'm not gonna fly past this guy because that's the uh, that's the guy who griefed me um, actually, you know, maybe, you know, we're not going to be doing any more cell missions here. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get our lick back on this guy really, really quick. Um, because he definitely deserves it. There we go. Damn, that bullet hole just had to go right there, huh? Yeah, you're dead, buddy. There we go. We're 1-1 one, one on this guy now. Let's, uh, let's get up on him because I know he's not going to sleep tonight, uh, if he loses this. So, um, I'm going to just go ahead and spam a couple missiles up that way. Ooh, I was close. I was really close, actually. Okay, okay, and come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh no, I killed myself. No, 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 no. This is not what we wanted. Oh dear. Uh, this thing has consumed, wow, one whole supply almost and uh, hasn't made any product yet. So that's a bit less than ideal. But hey, I mean, it's 
It's the coke lockup. It, uh, it's the it's the unupgraded coke lockup, so it's not going to be uh, super efficient right off the bat. So that's uh, that's just how it is. I mean, to be honest. Anyway, guys, I think that is pretty much it for episode seven of Out the Mud in Grand Theft Auto Online Expanded and Enhanced. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like is of course appreciated. Comment down below as well. Let me know what you thought of the episode. And if you want to see more, of course, subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.